Hi Aries, welcome back to I Enigma. This is Enigma. We're going to do your December 22 to 31 read. Let's see the messages for you. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Science in Aries. This is going to be a general reading. So take what resonates and leave what does not resonate. For accuracy, reach out for personals on WhatsApp, Instagram and email. And uh, also do I pray based spells. And we have intention crystals. Currently we are selling out fast. A uh, super energized love stone, which is rose quartz, and everybody's must have. If you're interested, you can buy that from me. And don't forget to follow my Instagram and also participate in uh, the 100k giveaway. Or you can check out December free of cost predictions on my Instagram as well. I have Scorpio channel. Don't forget to subscribe if you're Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Mercury in Scorpio or dealing with one. I have my Hindi channel as well. Don't forget to subscribe me there. And last but not the least, this is your channel and meant for you and only you. So don't forget to subscribe on my main channel, which is I Enigma. Seven of Cups. Someone has an eye on you. Okay, Queen of Cups. What you're doing right now is very much in your happy energy, Aries. I feel you're literally enjoying your, you know, ha uh, like energy of being in love with yourself. You have options to choose from in uh, areas of love, in areas of... But I feel like you're more interested in looking for love in your life right now. And you're happy that you're getting that attention and do, you do have options coming towards you. There's a lot of self-love that you're feeling towards yourself and you're spreading a lot of positivity everywhere you go. Scorpio. Then we have, sorry, you might be dealing with a Scorpio, is it? Aries, okay. So what I'm seeing is six of ones energy. You guys are feeling very happy and you want to celebrate. You want to celebrate every, um, every moment because things have started to, you know, move faster in your life your road is clear there is no drama there's no more blockage and you're not looking in the past you're moving forward and you know you have options coming in right now you're just enjoying your own company you're happy being with yourself so a lot of self-love here the six of wands is someone is coming towards you with a love offer as i was telling you there's someone that has an eye on you there's someone that's coming with a love offer okay Aries, Knight of Swords. Okay. Ooh. Then we have one more, please. Okay. We have the Hermit. Hmm. Someone is trying to get your attention. Right now, what you're doing, Aries, is like focusing on yourself. You don't you don't really want to uh be around people much or talk with others much you're like being in your own space loving yourself analyzing your you know life how where it is going what you want to do next you might be indulging yourself into uh, productive activities you might be studying you might be doing like taking up a hobby or something so you're pretty busy with your own life so you right now is asking for your own space you're in your own space but there's someone that is like literally asking you to look up look at them like there's someone that's trying their best to catch your attention like this person is also getting a little troubled because they are panic like i feel like your person is in panic because they kind of feel like um, you don't like somewhere you're giving off uh, an energy of not being interested and they're very scared of this so i feel this person is a like, chasing you super fast and is afraid of being rejected so they're coming super fast towards you and a little bit more aggressive okay <clears throat> this could be a virgo if this is a virgo they're older Ace of Cups, oh my gosh. They find you extremely good looking. They find you extremely pretty or handsome, gorgeous. Okay, they think that you're someone that they want to like be in love with. It's like you have ignited that, you know, desire in them to be in love with you. Okay, it is not a um, superficial connection. They want something deep. They want something that's emotional. So whoever you're dealing with, Aries, you may be doubting this, but I feel like this person is asking for attention. They want your love. And they think that you're someone that brings a lot of happiness in other people's life. And this person thinks they want to be that lucky one who's uh, loved by you and respected by you. 
so they are very loving and um, they find you very loving I'm seeing and I'm definitely seeing that Aries you're so happy and you're so much in love with yourself that everybody wants to um, revolve around you like you're the center of attention for so many people but I'm definitely seeing this new love coming in and you're ready for it but more than that you're literally loving yourself and the the feeling that you're having around yourself so you're full of, fully in love with yourself then we have the five of pentacles um oh my gosh aries this person is not coming towards you very clear I feel this person is hiding behind the bushes, but they're secretly watching you and uh, trying to get a sneak peek of what's happening in your life. This is someone that's very, very interested, but I don't know why. What is the reason you're going to find out that they're not approaching you directly? It's also because they feel a little intimidated because you're more focused about your own personal happiness. And they know, they think that they might mess it all up because this person comes from a source of addiction. I feel obsession. This is someone that might not be very emotional and they think that they have to grab it by hook if they want something they don't understand that there's uh, something called as uh, flow something called as patience something called as giving space to each other so this person might come towards you with an obsession i feel they're more and more they're, they're just getting obsessed with you they want your love so desperately and that is not the right way to approach. And I feel this person is just losing control over you. I'm sensing this. And so that might come off as a little arrogant to you. And you'll be like, okay, maybe this person is interested in my money. Maybe this person is interested in my body. Maybe this person is just passing their own time and they have nothing else to do. But the fact is over here that this person is like, I want to have them. If I've seen them, I want to have them. I cannot let them be with someone else. So this person is getting obsessed with you. Like there's some, you're like a drug to this person. They're getting addicted to you, I'm sensing. Maybe this is a Capricorn. I'm sensing your person may have self-doubts or they don't have much confidence in maintaining relationship and that is why they're coming from an insecure source a source of a fear that you may leave them for someone else a fear that you may create challenges for this person so i feel your person is coming from the source of fear and insecurity and that is why they are not doing it right and you may be like why is this person behaving a certain way when i'm talking to them when i'm normal with them then why are they behaving a certain way it's because they're coming from the source of fear fear of losing you is making them being a little bit more aggressive towards you which is not cool you on the other side is completely different story you're loving you're emotional you're you're you know you're growing and you're happy you're living your life like you're very innocent like that but this person is um aggressive seeing them chasing you super hard they feel like this this is going to be a major challenge maybe they won't be accepted by you so they have these mental fears revolving around them that's creating that resistance for them not for you okay you're happy you're happy aries you're doing your own thing you're moving forward in life if this person doesn't fit well for you you're okay you can choose someone else that's your energy so it's like you what is more important for you right now, Aries, is that you're being with yourself. You're in your own company and that is something that you don't want to lose. So you understand this thing. You're very mature, spiritually awakened, whereas this person is always like they want attention from outside. They want your love to feel validation. So this person is looking for love uh, with you to seek validation. Maybe you're dealing with an Aquarius or some of you, Ten of Pentacles. Yeah. I'm seeing you're very busy in making your own name and getting a hike or a position that you're looking for being into a, a state yeah, like managerial position or being in that uh, position of uh, like a CEO for some of you whatever your work is is like a lot of money is going to come if you pay attention if you just 
take little bit of risk take a leap of faith over what you want to do Aries because I'm definitely seeing you growing I'm definitely seeing you making a lot out of a small start okay but I am seeing this is someone that might be on the same in the same age as you are but they are different they're very different this is not your you know, uh, I won't say you guys are alike. You guys are like poles apart. This person thinks if they want something, they have to grab them by hook. And I feel like this person is doing that. But now what they're thinking about is they have to have you. Okay. And that too for marriage. But the approach is a little um, cold or I would say um, they're a little um, angry kind of a person so this is confusing you this may confuse you because why are they being so cold and arrogant if they want to marry you so this is someone that has been too uptight with things because they have had a past where they've been snatched away from anything that they really loved so with you they're possessive i feel like you're dealing with someone that's very possessive they overthink a lot okay they overthink things and they create their own blockages so this is something that you may teach them and that is why you guys have met here is please The star, maybe you're dealing with an Aquarius. I am seeing Aries, whatever you're doing, there's a possibility of you standing out in the crowd, people applauding you for maybe a presentation that you're giving, maybe how you're talking about your work, how you're becoming so successful. It's like a major success is hitting and you will be on a popularity level. I feel like you will be rising in your work. You'll be seen as a star. Okay, or you might be a, a star in your workplace, you may get an award. So get ready for that massive success that you were looking for. So there's some sort of success that's coming in that's going to give you fame. That's also going to give you money. And this person has a fear as well of losing you. You know, our major strength lies in being with ourselves. And that's when a person strives to be with you because... They know that you love yourself and there's nothing that can detach you from yourself. And that's something that's attracting this person like anything towards you. And then we have the King of Cups and then we have the Empress. You have uh, Eight of Cups, the Three of Swords and the Queen of Pentacles. I'm seeing you releasing this person that's coming towards you aggressively. I'm not seeing you taking things forward with them because it's difficult because you're on the page of comfort, calmness, security and this person comes from the source of insecurity. You have other options coming in and you might not take interest for a longer period of time with whoever you're right now. You might be interested today but you might not be tomorrow because you're seeing yourself growing. Your place is going to get bigger and stronger with each coming time. You might be a successful person. You're seen as someone that's like unshakable. Um, you're financially independent, stable and powerful. And I feel like with you growing with time and becoming the powerful, you know, entity, you have another person seeking you for marriage. You will have someone new as well coming in for marriage, probably a Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. So you won't be like... Uh, you know, you're not dying to be with this person. You're not like going to be saying yes to even if you like this person today, you might not say yes to this person in the coming time because you have someone else coming in as well. And you are yourself growing, you might put an end to a situation that has been a little bit dicey for you. Aries, please. You have cancer around as well. I'm not seeing you very satisfied with someone that's coming towards you aggressively. I'm not seeing you very satisfied. So you're going to cut the cords with this person eventually and start off with someone new coming into your life. 
you will see yourself becoming more, more and more powerful and being a magician of your life. You're someone that can change things the way you want to. You're someone that can attract anything that you want. You put your hand on, you put your finger on or eye on. But I'm definitely seeing there's someone that's a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius around you that you are manifesting unintentionally or subconsciously. I'm seeing there's new love coming in. In 2023, January, you'll see this happening. But with that, I'm also seeing you growing, getting better, becoming a star, and becoming successful, okay? You are going to be a leader. There's some sort of a leadership position you're about to get. So look out for that as well. Wheel of Fortune. The luck is definitely changing in your life. A lot of things in your life are changing for good. You're becoming your own mentor. You're changing things uh, in your surroundings the way you want. And you have the power to make things work in your favor. Hmm. Anything else, please? Temperance. Ooh. It's so hard to convince you to love someone. I feel like, yes, this is what you're seeing. I feel like in uh, January 2023, you're going to be so much in your own space. People would want to manifest you or trying to pursue you. You're like you're taking your own time as if you're someone really hard to convince. Okay, You're going to become a high value person. Like I'm seeing you're already up, uh, but your standards, you're going to keep on raising them. There's a new beginning for sure. I'm seeing you rejecting some offers, but I'm also seeing you not, pay. you're not interested. You're not much interested. I'm seeing your Aries. You're like, okay, let's wait for something better. Let's wait for something better. Somewhere you need to cut down on the criteria you may have set. But if you not set any strong criteria for yourself, you may need to wait a little bit to actually be feeling the way you want to be felt when you're in love, okay? So you're still having some time here, but definitely you have a lot of options and choices coming in, okay? There's something about music. I feel you might be into music. If that is so, there's major success coming in. Um, if you're seeking help from someone, then a message from the universe is hitting me. It's telling me to tell you that don't seek help from someone. Do it yourself, okay? If there's something about your career, like you think this person is going to help me with my music career or raise my, uh, you know, uh, business or give me a promotion, then don't expect. Do it yourself, okay? That's something that I'm hearing. Anything else? Page of Wands. So I'm not seeing right now you giving anybody a chance. I'm not seeing it. I'm seeing you definitely attracting a lot of offers towards you. But you're like, you need to wait. You are going to be waiting. You're going to be putting all of these options on stand, standby because you're not feeling that urge. You're not feeling that happiness. You're still dissatisfied with these options because you, your standards, you're just getting better and be, better with time. That is also one of the reasons why. So I'm definitely seeing you have a lot of options wanting to be a part of your life and they want to tell you how they feel for you. It's just you give them one chance and see how it goes. But I'm not seeing you taking much interest as I told you. You will have a lot of options proposing you on your way towards your soulmate. Yeah, that's what I'm seeing. Gift. Someone is going to give you a gift despair oh my gosh there's someone that's not happy with you moving on from them someone is crying over you i feel they they just want to convince you they might come with a gift they may beg you for your love someone is going to come and beg you for your love that's something that i'm strongly seeing guys and this is the one that maybe may have been coming towards you a little aggressively in, in the beginning but they're doing their best to have you in their life to convince you to be there partner very soon you'll see something like that happening honeymoon you might go out with this person as well
playfulness i'm not seeing you taking this love too seriously because you know what kind of partner you're looking for so you'll definitely date but you won't be taking things seriously and this is the best way to go because if you fall in love and then you realize the other person was just cheating on you or is not on the same page as you are it hurts right so laugh it out have fun take it as friendship and see how things go in the near future who else comes into your life spread love give love that is what you're going to be doing all tied up you're too busy right now aries i'm seeing you being very busy with work you have a lot going on and you may not even have time to take a vacation or even go through these tarot readings somewhere i feel like you need to balance your you know time no much multitasking don't do much multitasking just relax more life is a mystery you don't expect this coming some of you are right now not expecting true love to come in you're like i don't believe it i don't think so it's gonna come you never know you never know where you land you never know how you meet the one you never know when you will get married so just have a positive approach and have a positive thought in your mind this is what you're doing as i told you're keep going to keep your standards high you're not gonna be like uh, putting down yourself just to make someone happy you're going to raise your standards and you're going to do what your heart wants you to do what makes you feel good you will do that okay easy does it take it easy is something that i'm getting you might be doing a lot of multitasking overworking too busy artists some of you are born artists you might get major fame coming in okay get ready for that rest relax something if you want to do something big in your life take rest before doing it okay friendship so i'm definitely seeing there's a new friendship uh coming into your life or you guys will make new friends will really hang out and have fun with your friends that is something that is needed in this time of busy world don't worry your friends are going to be your support system aries please treasure you have found your treasure aries i feel like you're about to you know land to something that you were looking for I feel like your major wish is going to come to fruition you have been working on your goals non stop for some of you actually reaching that point where you've uh actually won the you know the game or whatever that that is called as some of you dealing with i told you you were dealing with the scorpio i think so you are scorpio aries or sagittarius it might be a scorpio that secretly keeping an eye on you what is ego is that i feel soon you may get some sort of a popularity like some of you are famous but take rest reconsider okay something to do with magazines being a part of it etu this could be a name someone's from uh, korea china asian side ethiopia is also what i'm seeing you guys will be traveling i feel like there's something to do with tower maybe you're going to buy a house or you have strong ambitions and you know what you want in your life and you're going to achieve it you're pretty sure about it let's see from aries to pisces what does your person feel about you aries to pisces aries is like thinking about marriage here long term commitment here wants to be with you for the rest of their life and then we have taurus is fallen in love with you i feel this person is in love with you then we have the gemini gemini wants a beautiful relationship they think you're the one then we have cancer cancer wants marriage kids leo leo is in love they find you extremely good looking gorgeous okay very very attractive virgo virgo is overtly thinking about you the virgo is thinking a lot about you i feel this person has realized that there's something more than what they were actually thinking libra is not going to wait not going to say they're going to take a leap of faith and see how things move forward scorpio i was telling you there's some scorpio that's aggressively coming towards you and wants to grab you by the hook or by crook 
Sagittarius. Sagittarius is pretty interested. They're going to ask you out. You guys might date the Sagittarius you're dealing with one. Capricorn is feeling a regret losing you. They think there's no looking back. There's no coming back. And they're feeling really stressed out. Aquarius. Aquarius is right now making a decision. Maybe this is something that's going to change a whole scenario between you two. This person is about to make a major decision about marriage or commitment. Pisces wants to take it slow. They're not in a rush. This person is not even sure, but they're definitely interested in you. Okay, so that is it, Aries. I hope you've enjoyed the read, and I really did do. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below. Do claim this read. I'll see you again, guys, with more videos like this. Do follow my Instagram. I'll see you again. Bye.